in Johnson Town. Johnson Town. Johnson Town. It's Johnson Town, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Small Town Reviews. Today, we're in a little bit of a different place. I'm here with my brother Sven. Don't. That was an actual bite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Today, we're out here in the place where we usually play garage pool. Look around us. Look at this set here. You see all that? I made it. Wow, Sven made it. In fact, right now, when I'm talking, you're probably seeing a bunch of cool footage from the awesome pool and knob streams that we've been doing out here on Sven's channel. Sven and I are streaming on Twitch all the time. Twitch.tv slash Gus Johnson and Twitch.tv slash Sven Johnson. Sven, go hit us with a follow because right now, the day this video comes out, we're, we're both streaming. Today. You got your finger right in their nose. So you we put should put the finger in their nose. I am sorry, but okay. Can I have that booger, please? Shut <laughs> <laughs> Today is another installment of Small Town Reviews, where we are looking at the public Google reviews for various businesses in smaller areas of the U.S. And today our topic is. Public schools. schools. Now, I just want to acknowledge up front that this is going to be a little bit of a different small town reviews. First of all, I was shocked to find. All of the reviews that I found took me like nine minutes to get them all. I have never seen such a high concentration of actually funny small town reviews ever. I should have done schools a long time ago. Now also, and make sure I'm zoomed in on this part. I'm not dumb. Guys, I'm not dumb. I'm not that, I'm not so dumb. I am aware that some of these are actually jokes made by students, but some of the reviews are jokes, some are real. The jokes that I did grab are pretty funny though. It's, in fact, I'm kind of surprised that most okay. schools are just listed as public businesses where you can just write reviews on them. Sven has not seen any of these reviews before. I've handpicked them all, so without further ado, let's read some small, small town reviews. You have their, your finger I in gotta their nose stop again. doing that. I'm, doing, I'm not. So the first review here today comes from Max. Max gives it a one star and says, God forgot this place when he created Earth. <laughs> he still, it still got created though. Satan did this one. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. All right, next one is one star from Thomason. It says, kids at this school need to be way more disciplined. Fights happen every day. I wouldn't send my fish to go to school here. Otherwise, the teachers are great. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> Semi Sober says one star. I was running in the hallway and was hit with a pencil bag. When confronted by a teacher, she told me to walk and left. My teacher told us she would not repeat herself. Did so seven Wait, times. Wait, did the teacher throw the pencil bag? I would guess probably because of this. <laughs> what the hell? Listen, kids aren't walking. They gotta get hit by a pencil. Are bags. we saying where these schools are from? Nope. But I, all of these are in Minnesota, and Wisconsin. So. <laughs> Midwest, love you. Yeah. Hey. XX gives it one star and says, just had a question, dot, dot, dot. Is it true that people do drugs there? <laughs> I like to imagine that they're a prospective student and they're just like, just out of curiosity, are we able to do drugs there? <laughs> Fully anonymous, my name is Guy Parentman <laughs> over here. Yeah. Here's a little bit of a lengthy one, but it really bears repeating. Jason out here says one star, god awful horrible place. I wouldn't send my dog there. A lot of people are just saying that they wouldn't send their yeah, pets the here. Pet. Certainly never send your child there. Good God, if that is your only choice, homeschool them or drive them to another area or state, LOL. If you care so little for your children, test them before you send them here. Then test them again later. You will likely find them more stupid than when you sent them there <laughs> in the first place. It is quite possible that they will have permanent brain damage from simply walking in the front door. <laughs> the teachers that I remember were unbelievably substandard and that is me being polite. Sigh. You know you're a real loser when you put in your own stage prompts. Oh. Of course, this is only my most humble opinion and reflects no facts whatsoever. Take it for what it is. Your mileage may vary. I like how aggressive Jason was too, saying like, the second they step in, they're gonna lose <laughs> brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> I like this username too, read that one. Username is not me, not me. <laughs> I didn't think I needed to censor that one because it's not them. Yeah, so it's not fine. them, they won't know. Not me, not me says, don't do it! Don't send your child here! Is filled with spooky skeletons and ghosts. These monsters will eat your kids. <sighs> I think this one is one of the joke ones I was talking about, <laughs> but I put it in to be safe. So Princess out here giving this one one star. I am not View High School this year. It is good school. Learn different subject. Good school. I love it. But wait, there's a one star review on it. I just, I'm not really- They are not View High School <laughs> this year. Randall, one star. Suck big time when I attended there in 1963. What? I think that the statute of limitations of being able to publicly review the school uh, and I don't know, 
50 years <laughs> after you go to school there, dude? 1963, and this was left five years ago, so that's what? 2023, 1963, 40, 40, 60. 55 years ago. Oh my god, 55 Randall. years removed from this high school. You know that this is the first day that Randall's uh, nephews got him an iPad, and he's just like, finally I can air these decadal <laughs> grievances. Here's one from Nicole. One... <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He already sees it. Just <laughs> so Nicole goes two stars. The school is so gecko. It's true. <laughs> was she trying to type ghetto, I wonder? I'm pretty sure she was. <laughs> so she Maybe just voice to speech did. It could be like a nice comprehensive biology program, though. Oh, this is so true. That's like when you run the English to Swedish translate through Google Translate. This school is so gecko. It's so true. <laughs> we can say that because of we're Swedish. We're Swedish, so we can make fun of those people. Yeah, those darn Swedes. They suck. Yeah, always exporting Lingen Bear. I don't know I anything don't know about our home country. Sweet. Owen, one star, bro. This high school, it ain't MLG enough, <laughs> mate. I, I forgot about MLG, dude. I this is like a death com right here. Yeah, right. Mr. Smith on me, Mr. Smith on me. He's cracked. He's cracked. <laughs> Cade, one star. I tried to put on my gym shoe last week and there was a mouse in it. If you, <laughs> and there's the yes. worst part is I actually can't tell this is a joke. If you go one day without stepping on a cockroach or seeing a mouse, I <laughs> applaud you. <laughs> Alex, four stars. They are chill when it comes to Healy's. That's nice. it, dude. Oh, let's back. go. Let's go. We had Healy's band. I remember when Healy's came out and I was in school and they were just like, the teacher's like, if you wear these, we will steal the wheels and you will have to just wear the blank shoes. I remember that. And then some girl came. I've never seen these before or since, but with a pair of knockoff Healy's that had two different heels. So, and they were, they were like part of the shoe. Dude, I honestly, that's my first time even thinking about that in like probably 15 years. I know, I'm gonna they were see like if I can really plastic. Yeah, I was, I'm gonna see if I can find like a picture of what I'm talking about. If you guys had these double skate shoes or any other knockoff Heelys, please tell me in the comments below. I wanna see them. I have them. no idea what they were called. Soul, Soulsies. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, one star. In the two years I spent at this school, people smeared poop on the walls on more than one occasion. It was awful. Someone also pooped on the toilet, not in it. <laughs> Every like, subject in school, you can't be doing everything. I like right? how Toby's only grievances were poop related. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, one star jail. <laughs> That's all you need to know about that school. School, seven crappy hours of our lives. Freaking. I just invented that. I just did that. That's pretty good. I saw it on iFunny when I was 13. Whoa, feature it. Michael, one star. Timing is everything, boys. That's a quote from Mr. K after catching me, Brian, and Carter skipping for the 90th time <laughs> junior year. <laughs> cool, man. Franny, one star. Nice job keeping the restrooms clean during the sectional wrestling tournament. I watched a little kid slip and fall into the standing water from the overflowing toilet. Disgusting. Bro! Specificity is so funny. Yeah. The sectional <laughs> wrestling tournament. Here's Ashley, two stars. There's been fights every day. Squirrels running around the physics room in the spring. Mice and mice poop everywhere. The bathrooms are sometimes completely out of soap and toilet paper and paper towels. There's wasp and bees everywhere during the spring. <laughs> At least there's only one wasp though. That's like, not bad. I've noticed a comment for a lot of our small town reviews is there's just infestations <laughs> of <laughs> yeah, animals. Dude. Like animals just start creeping into these buildings, whether it's restaurants, motels, hotels, or schools now apparently. All right, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I saw that one. Sven, will you please read us the last glorious review of the day? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I I don't know how to say the name if it's Patet. I, I wonder if they're trying to spell Pete, but I don't know. Pete gives one star, says, all our teachers were arrested. <laughs> what happened? Aww. What are they getting arrested for? I don't know. Probably letting the wasps in. Jesus Christ. Well, that's it for this episode of Small Town Reviews. If you got any other stuff that we want to review, please let us know in the comments below. I love doing this series. It's super fun. Thank you for allowing me to do it for, gosh, I mean, probably it's like the 14th, 15th episode. Thank you so much. New sketch out next week. And please sub to Sven and- Put your finger in their nose again. You got boogers on your finger again. I gotta retire from YouTube. This is too hard. What's going on, gamers? I'm sitting out in my backyard today doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm doing nothing out here, okay? And you can't find out otherwise. You know why? Because I'm using Surfshark VPN, the best VPN out there, dude. Surfshark VPN keeps you and your online identity safe by encrypting all of the data and information that your device devices send back and forth through the internet. It will keep you secure and protected. They've got an excellent comprehensive antivirus software. I mean, come on. Who? What do, what do people usually use VPNs for? Guys, use your 
your stinking brain. Do you need me to walk you through this? You can be in a different country, set your location to your home country, or any other dang country, and watch all of the content on streaming services, websites that are exclusive to that place. Surfshark is the best at that. It keeps everything streamlined and accessible no matter where you are around the globe. See that guy over going overhead in the airplane? You hear him up there? Don't show him. He's probably up there using Surfshark VPN, right? Don't show him. If you go to surfshark.deals forward slash Gus and use my coupon code Gus, you're going to get 83% off your entire purchase and three months free. Thank you so much, Surfshark VPN, for sponsoring. Guys, go check it out. It's down there. Get out of my backyard. I don't even enjoy you. Thank you.